All right, guys, Moto Tote M3. Just got it put together. I'm um, gonna try to do a quick video on this, kind of uh, go over some of the features of it and why I ended up buying it. So I guess the reason why I ended up buying it, my old one, my stabilizer bracket was, I was about ready to purchase my third stabilizer bracket. I've had, that's the AMC Black Widow 400. I've had that thing for seven years and I was about to order my third stabilizer bracket, but I started looking at the carrier itself and all the uh, hardware on it is, uh, you know, rusty and it's just, it was time to upgrade. Like I said, I've had it for seven years and I've had my eye on this one for a few years, but never, you know, had a reason to upgrade until now. So anyways, this is the Moto Toe M3. It has a 500 pound capacity. Uh, this was steel and aluminum. This is all steel. Quite a bit heavier of a unit for sure. And try to get in close here. I don't know if you can see how it's textured. This whole thing is powder coated. So I'm hoping, you know, obviously when you go dirt biking, you're going down a lot of dirt roads, gravel roads. So hopefully that powder coat stands up to the test of time, which uh, pretty sure it will because I know a few people that have these. But quite an expensive unit, but I expect to have it for a long time. Like I said, my old one, seven years. Hopefully I get at least that or more. Um, couple questions I know I might get is uh, why don't you just put the dirt bike in the back of your truck the reason I don't I could obviously but the reason I don't is because because I got a tonneau cover I always like to keep all my gear and everything in the back of my truck you know out of the rain so anyways I just prefer a hitch carrier like I just said um, just that way my gear is in the back of the truck out of the rain out of the elements that tonneau cover and my tailgate is lockable too so i do have a nice trailer that's set up for three bikes but usually it's just me going somewhere by myself so or meeting people so the dirt bike carrier is just a little bit easier but so one of the things i really like about this carrier already is the way that you can stow the ramp so comes with a lanyard with this cotter pin this is not easy to do one-handed but put it through here like so clamp it down and then you got this little thing this little tail that it's just not going anywhere so that one had uh, you could stole the ramp I think it was in front or the back but nowhere as near as good a setup as this one so got the wheel chalk and I already kind of obviously put my bike on here and it's a lot easier to load by yourself because of the wheel chalk so the the bike actually stands up by itself so you can get your straps kind of set up obviously you want your straps set up before you load it but if you didn't they'll actually stand up straight with that wheel chalk which is nice um, you got your two points for your tie down right here for your straps to hook in. And then what I like is the back right here. My old one didn't have this, but it comes with tie down points in the back. So all you have to do is run a strap over your back wheel and you're good to go. So three straps versus this old one. The only tie down points you had was right here and that one so um, I kind of had the straps running from the forks back and then from my swing arm back so it was kind of I mean it worked but this is just a lot easier so and it seems like it's a lot more sturdier so I'm gonna demonstrate and uh, I'll go get my bike and show you how it's done I'm gonna set up my straps first and then give you guys a quick demo Okay guys, another thing I almost forgot. So instead of a stabilizer bracket, like a lot of the other hitch stabilizer or hitch carriers have, 
this comes with your pin and this is a new design and you put these in here and this part recesses in and that's your stabilizer and it works really really well um, when they first came out with this hitch carrier the the design was a little bit different but they have since upgraded to this so works very well and uh, in the wheel chalk somewhat stable I just kind of keep my forearm on the front fender just because Now, the other thing about this carrier is you have you don't have to, but I use a fork saver um, because this kind of pulls them pulls the straps down and straight, whereas my other ones it was down and back. So if you do go over some bumps, there is you know your straps could come loose even though i got the carabiner and ratchet but um this is just to stabilize it a little bit better so fork saver in here I always use ratchet straps guys I know some of you guys will say to use tie downs um, I know there's some good ones out there I might actually try some just to make it a little bit quicker and faster but right now just stick with the ratchet straps so there you have it um, let's see if I can I mean that thing barely moves I don't know if you can tell super rock steady so super fast just tie up my loose ends of my straps and you're ready to go put your uh, ramp back on the carrier and in my opinion you know hitch carriers are the way to go unless you got multiple bikes then obviously you got to bring your trailer but I don't always feel like lugging the trailer around you know then you got to worry about your tires and you know can't go as fast down the highway you know all that good stuff so anyways this is the moto tote m3 quite a bit more expensive than the other ones um but well worth it in my opinion so if you're in the market i would just say spend the money in the first place uh, like i said in the beginning of the video this is all powder coated uh, way more sturdy than my Black Widow AMC 400, so I like it. Alright guys, thanks for watching.